we're going to be focusing on lot quality assurance sampling today. And what I want to do in order to demonstrate what lot quality assurance sampling can do, I want to take some samples, samples of 19, and I'll talk about why we're using 19 later. We're going to take samples of 19 from two populations. This is my assistant Dylan, who's going to be sampling the population in this bag. This population has 100 women between the ages of 15 and 49. And there are two types of women in here. There are women that know two ways to prevent this transmission of HIV. And they're signified by a black chip or a black checker. And there are women, same age, who don't know two ways. So that's how this population is divided up. Same in this bag. We've got two different populations. This is a population in supervision area C, pink bag. And this brown bag is supervision area A. We've already talked about these supervision areas. So Dylan's going to be sampling not just once, which we normally would do, but he's going to actually draw 10 samples. And with those 10 samples, we'll be able to see if they, we can see any distinction between supervision area A and supervision area C. Kara's also going to take a, 10 samples from hers. And at the end, we'll count both populations to actually see what their real results are. Obviously, in real life, we rarely, if ever, know what the total population is like. Here we will, and we're going to demonstrate sampling and how it helps us say something about these populations. So, I'm going to ask Dylan to start, and he's going to take 19 without looking. He's going to sample randomly. That's random because he can't see. He's going to lay them out on the table. He's going to count up the black ones, and he's going to write the black number here. And once he gets started, and you can focus in on his, then we're going to have Kara draw a sample also of 19 from her bag. So you can look at Dylan, and Dylan, don't go over 19. And as soon as you have 19, count up the black ones and tell me how many you have, and then, uh, actually, I'll go ahead and write them since I'm standing here. And Kara, you can go ahead and start pulling yours as well. Okay, so how many black do you have, Dylan? I have 10. All right, go ahead and put them back in, mix them up really well. Kara's got her first sample. 19 black. 19 black. 14. Okay. That's the second sample. 14. And Kara's also got 14. All right, so this is our third sample from each bag. Kara, again, has supervision area C. Dylan has supervision area 11. 11. And Kara got four our fourth sample out of ten. Nine. Dylan has nine this time in supervision area A. Number five for Dylan and number four for Kara. Fourteen again. Okay. We're seeing a little bit of a pattern emerging here. Eleven. And Dylan's at eleven. Ten. Alright, so this is number six. He had ten black on this one. And, uh, Kara? Fourteen. Fourteen. Eight. Okay, Dylan got eight that time. That's his seventh. He's got three more samples to pull. Eleven. Eleven that time. What? Seven. This time Dylan had seven. Fifteen. Fifteen this time. Ten. Ten this time. Fifteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. 17. Kara, that's your last one. Dylan is on his last one. Ten. And he's got 10 again. 13. 13. 13. All right. Great. So just looking at these two, and then I'm going to ask you to dump them all out in a minute, keeping them separate. Would you draw any, could you possibly draw any conclusions about the differences in these populations from what you see? Uh, a looks like it's about 50-50 because it's 19 and the mean seems to be about, about 10. And then for C, it looks like it's a little bit over that, maybe 75% or so. Okay. Now, let's look at the actual fact. Let's look at the entire population. So I'm going to ask you to dump them out, separate out the black from the white, I'm sorry, the black from the red, and then just count one of them. There are 100, so count um, one of the piles 
and that will then give us the amount in the other pot. The one right there? 20. 20. So the knowledge that is the black ones, the women who do know in the supervision area C, is 80%. So 80%, this is the true population, what we call the population parameter. 80% of the women in this population know at least two ways to prevent HIV. Don't uh, 50. All right. Is half the women in this supervision area A know at least two ways? And I'm going to project the results and we're going to talk about what these numbers mean and how we can use a decision rule with a sample size of 19 to say whether we have evidence that our supervision area has reached a certain threshold or whether we have evidence that has fallen far below that. And that's what lot quality assurance sampling is for.